What's going on guys, Winter Kills here, and I'm bringing you guys a Lost World Dino deck that I've been meaning to bring to you guys for quite some time. Um, but I've never just had the opportunity to do it until today, um, because I actually got a chance to look at some of the cards in the new ban list with the uh, Dark Hole coming back to three. Uh, and that, that that card does actually help this deck strategy quite a bit with Lost World and your baby dinos, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, I, I like Lost World Dino so, so much more than True King Dino, and this is actually my brother's deck, and he's um, far more familiar with the Dino deck than I am, uh, but I'm going to be doing the profile for you guys. Um, but he also agrees that the, the True King Dino build, while it can pull off more flashy plays and make crazier boards, it, it just really is inconsistent when we look at it. It's just so inconsistent, so many brick cards, so many combos that are so reliant on certain cards going off and lose very easily to hand traps this build is much more uh back to the roots if you will of dino just more simple otk and stun um that's really no super long drawn out combos to play them just because we can um and no not like we're playing way less garnets in the deck like we would be with like uh a true king uh dino Guard Dragon build, which is just absolutely way too many bricks in there. Um, also, a quick shout out to Imperium Duelist. Uh, if you're interested in picking up some sleeves uh, or some mats, uh, some sleeves like these, these effect sleeves here, like on this uh, Evil Storm Exiton Knight uh, or this Millennium Playmat, cloth playmats, dice, whatever, whatever you want to pick up, anything like that, uh, check them out down in the description below and use that discount code to save 10% off your entire order. So without further ado, we'll get into the profile and to start, we have three copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Now, this is a card I've would probably recommend running at two but i think three is okay in here since this basically is your main win condition for the deck putting this on the board multiple times is very very hard for your opponent to deal with you basically just destroy a monster in your hand or field and then you basically uh book your opponent's entire field you set all of their monsters face down that can be set face down obviously which can disrupt your opponent from going into link plays. Um, and if it attacks the defense position monster, you can send it to the graveyard and inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. So if you book their whole field and you just send everything to the grave and burn for a bunch of damage, uh, the, it can pile up pretty quickly and you can see how this deck can OTK. So this is the main heart of the deck and I think playing three makes sense. It is your main boss monster, your main win condition. So um, then moving forward, three soul eating OV Raptor, um, the Stratos for the deck. You gotta play three of these. If it's normal or special summon you can either add a dinosaur from your deck to your hand or send a dinosaur from your deck to the graveyard um so very very versatile card it also has another effect where you can target one other level four lower dinosaur type monster on the field destroy it then special summon one dinosaur type monster in your graveyard in defense position um so that can come up for some more combos as well and then the card we have gotten back at three on the list miscellaneous saurus uh, this card is fantastic for this deck, obviously. During your main phase, uh, during either player's main phase, you can discard it, and then all of your dinosaur-type monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's monsters or opponent's activated effects, um, which is really good. So this can block uh, your Obi Raptor from being, you know, hit with uh, hand traps, um, impermanences, etc., etc. Uh, it's a really good card, and then also has the fact to banish itself from the graveyard, and then you can summon a dinosaur from your deck uh, whose level equals uh, the monsters that you banished. So if you banish just miscellaneous source, you can summon a one. If you, if you banish itself and another one, you can summon a two, a three, a four, etc., etc. Um, so a very, very strong extender. Then we have two Dino Wrestler Pancratops. Um, as a going second build, which I think Dino makes sense to be played as a going second build, if you're not playing the uh, the true king, uh, you know, guard dragon build, I think it makes sense to play it as a going second deck because it can break boards um, and it can go into boards with miscellaneous aura. So I think two banker tops is fine. I think three is just way too much. Um, don't want to be drawing this card in multiples in the most case. Uh, two baby Sarasaurus and one uh, petty Ranadon. Um, I like having the option uh, to be able to summon a level 4 or higher because sometimes you can summon Dogeron uh, for a Kaiju on your side of the field which protects you from getting Kaijued. Um, and then Baby Sarasaurus, if it's destroyed uh, by card effects, um, we can special summon a level 4 lower dinosaur type monster from our deck. Uh, so that helps to extend as well. 
Um, then moving forward, one Giant Rex, one uh, Overtax Coatlas. Uh, if this card is banished, we get to special summon it. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, we can add one Double Evolution Pill. And we can also summon this off a of Double Evolution Pill to be able to negate spells and trap effects. So pretty solid card in its own right. So that is it for the Dino Monsters. Now we'll move on to the other monsters that we are playing, consisting of some Hand Traps. Hand Traps work really well with this deck because Double Evolution Pill can summon uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno or any uh, level 7, I believe, Dino, uh, or level 7 or higher Dino from our deck. Level 7 or higher, uh, ignoring its summoning conditions, but we have to banish a Dino and a non-Dino in our graveyard. And what a better way to get non-Dinos in our grave other than using Hand Traps. So two copies of Ash, two copies of Ghost Ogre, and my personal choice, two copies of Droll and Lockbird, because stopping your opponent dead in their tracks leaves you a uh, surefire, uh, you know, open for the OTK, or them open for the OTK, uh, and allows you to sort of open up on that stun factor. Uh, then we have three Kaijus, one Gamma Seal, one Dogeron, and one Kamungus. Um, we can actually summon this card in this deck off the Petty Ranadon, so I like playing this card in the main deck, and I think most Dino players do as well. So that is it for the monsters. Moving into the spells, and of course, this is a Lost World Dino deck, so of course it wouldn't be one without this card. Lost World is such an underrated card. Uh, it's so, so good in this deck. All monsters on the field lose 500 attack and defense, except dinosaur monsters. And if a dinosaur-type monster is normal or special summoned, except during the damage step, you can special summon one Jirak Egg token uh, to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. While your opponent controls a token, they cannot target monsters on the field with card effects, except tokens. And once per turn, if a normal... Uh, monster or monsters on the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect. You can destroy that uh, uh, many dinosaur type monsters in your hand and or deck instead. So, for example, you normal summon your uh, Ovi Raptor while this is on the field. You give your opponent that token, uh, and then you would like use uh, the Ovi Raptor to send uh, per se giant Rex to the grave or Miscellaneousaurus. Use the Ovi Raptor to target the token to destroy that this would protect it you dump the uh baby sarasaurus of the graveyard that would get destroyed and then um i believe that the Ovi raptor would not be able to summon the thing from the grave uh because the card technically wasn't destroyed but you'd still be able to resolve that baby sarasaurus effect to summon out giant rex make more plays uh from there so this card is very good especially when combined with dark hole and not to mention, it also makes it so your opponent cannot target uh, monsters in the field except for tokens. So they can't even target their own monsters. So that makes it very hard to deal with. Uh, then we have three copies of Fossil Dig. Um, you got to add up the consistency in this deck. It's so good. It's not a hard once per turn. It searches out pretty much all the best cards in our deck. Two double evolution pill. It is searchable basically through Fossil Dig, through uh, Obi Raptor. Dumbing that to the graveyard, so I don't think we need to play three. Uh, two copies of Cosmic Cyclone. Back row hate, I think, is pretty good in here, but didn't want to run Twin Twister because I think Cosmic Cyclone has its merits against some rogue matchups, too, which this deck may struggle against. Uh, two Dark Hole, um, opening up the field for the OTK while triggering some of your baby uh, dino effects, so definitely a good synergy there. One Upstart. This could literally be anything else if you didn't want to play Upstart. It could be a third Dark Hole. Uh, which I think three Dark Hole might be overkill, but if you want to play three, you can. One Foolish, and of course, one Terraforming. And then the last spell I'm playing is one copy of Double or Nothing, because we do have a pretty good rank four toolbox to work with, and being able to access card can uh, sometimes win you the game outright. Now, that is it for the main deck, and we'll go into the extra deck now. To start, we have some links consisting of Nightmare Cerberus and Phoenix. Can't really ever go wrong with those. And then one Underclock Taker and one Land Farinkus. This could be Beat Cop, Cyframe Lord Lambda. This could be Pentastag, whatever you want it to be. There are certainly options for this extra deck since it really doesn't make too big of a difference. Uh, one Gustav Max this is actually an idea I got from uh, some other players in the Dino community. Um, pretty good idea to be able to overlay both your double, uh, you know, both your uh, Conductor Tyrannos, that is, uh, for this to potentially burn for 2k to steal the game. And then, of course, one Utopia Double and one Utopia for the uh, Double or Nothing. One Lagia, one Dolka, one Emerald, one Exiton Knight, one Dugares. Uh, this card, for a lot of people who don't know what it does, basically, uh, you can detach two materials to activate three different effects. The first one is skip your draw phase, also draw two cards, then discard one. Uh, skip the next main phase one, especially when one monster from your graveyard in defense position, and skip the battle phase of your next turn, double the attack of one monster you control until the end of this turn. So, this card is pretty solid in here if you ask me. One plan B, the Baguzga, one Dweller, and one Tomato Dragon, or Tornado Dragon, whatever you prefer. 
Um, so yeah, that's it for the extra deck and the main deck. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the test hand and combo sequence of the video. I actually forgot to record it, so you're getting uh, me from the future, essentially. One thing I wanna explain real fast before we do the first combo and test hand, uh, is that the Borolo that was in the extra deck at the start of the video, I decided to cut to add in the Utopia package because I completely forgot about the double or nothing play, which I think can work really well in here. Uh, so I added that in, um, and that's really all else I had to say. I decided just to drop that up, start like I said in that little uh, text box uh, earlier in the video. So uh, now we'll go ahead and get started with a combo, and then we'll do a, uh, a test hand first, or a test hand after that. Okay, so for the first combo, you're going to need three cards, Miscellaneousaurus, Oviraptor, and Lost World. This could also be Terraforming. And this could also be a card like Fossil Dig. So you don't need to open these three exact cards. There are, of course, other ways and other searchers that allow us to get to this hand. One other restriction that we're going to sort of have to abide by here is the fact that we're going to need a non-dinosaur monster in our graveyard. It could be a Kaiju, it could be a Link monster, an Extra Deck monster, a Hand Trap, etc., etc. So this is basically how the combo is going to go, just using these three cards. Uh, we'll start with Lost World and Normal Summon the Oviraptor. And then it's important to chain link block with your Lost World. You're going to go chain link one, chain link two, so this does not fall victim to a card like Ash Blossom. We'll summon the token to their side of the field, and then we'll use Oviraptor's effect here to dump a copy of Coal Atlas uh, to the graveyard, which, when sent to the graveyard, will allow us to add one double evolution pill from our deck to our hand. So we'll send that to our grave and add the double evolution pill. Now from here, we're going to want to discard the Miscellaneous Saurus to protect all of our dinosaurs during this main phase. Uh, you know, make them unaffected uh, by our, from our, act our opponent's activated uh, card effects this turn. So we get that built-in protection. We also get this important card into our graveyard. Now we're going to use Soul Eating Oviraptor's other effect to target one level 4 lower dinosaur type monster on the field and destroy it. And if we do, special summon one dinosaur type monster from our graveyard in defense position. So we'll use Oviraptor to target this Lost World token that we summoned off of Lost World, which is a dino. Uh, we'll destroy it. The field spell will prevent it from being destroyed. And we'll be able to destroy a card from our deck, a dinosaur from our deck instead. And we'll destroy the Baby Sarasaurus. Now we'll activate Baby Sarasaurus's effect to summon out a level 4 or lower dino from our deck. And that is going to be a copy of the Giant Rex. Now, we don't get to summon the level 4 from our graveyard because the token was not destroyed. So... Oviraptor does not meet that requirement as of yet, so we will not get to summon from Grave, but that does not matter too much. So now from here, we're going to link into basically any Link 2. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to go into Land Ferencus. Like I said, this could be Beat Cop. This could be uh, Pentastag. Uh, it could be whatever you want it to be. I think Land Ferencus works fine here just uh, for the sake of being a generic Link monster. It could also be a copy of Cyframe Lord Lambda, whatever you want it to be. So... We'll use the effect of Miscellaneous Source here to banish itself and these four other dinos um, itself with uh, along with three others. And we'll be able to summon Soul Eating Oviraptor from our deck. And then we'll use Giant Rex's effect when banished. Uh, he can summon him out, so, self out from the banished zone. And then we'll overlay into pretty much any rank four that we want. I'm going to use Dugares the Timeless here just as an example. Uh, and then we'll play the Double Evolution Pill to banish the dino and non-dino in our graveyard to summon a copy of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. We could also summon Pancratops, or we could summon uh, Dogeron if we wanted to as well, but we'll just go for Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Uh, and then at this point, with that being said, we can either use uh, Dugare's effect to detach two to draw two, potentially into Dark Hole and Ash, uh, keep in mind with the two or three other cards we have in hand, or detach these two to target the Conductor Tyranno to be able to do double or double its attack, boosting up to 7k, which can uh, steal a game if we want it to. So yeah, there's just a quick combo there on how to get a link, and a rank 4, and your uh, boss monster on field. Pretty easy setup. The only thing that it requires is a non-dino in the graveyard, but other than that, pretty easy to do. Now we'll go ahead and do a test hand. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do a quick test hand. We're just going to draw a random hand of six cards since we're going to be doing this as going second. Or we could just do it as going first. I guess it doesn't make too big of a difference either way. We'll do it as going first. Uh, the combo we showed earlier uh, could also be used for going first because instead of making Dugares under that link too, you could also make Abyss Dweller uh, and summoning Pancratops instead of the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno for more interruptions. So 
Ogre, Cosmic Cyclone, Droll Knockbird, Fossil Dig, and Baby Sarasaurus. Um, this hand looks more of like a going second hand to me. Uh, because we do open up Ogre and Droll Lock, so we could possibly play both of those on our opponent. We have a Cosmic Cyclone to Outback or Removal as well. Um, so we'll start with the Lost World uh, and then play the Fossil Dig, adding the Oviraptor. Uh, Oviraptor, Chainlink 1, uh, Fossil, uh, or not Fossil Dig, uh, Lost World 1, or Lost World 2, so Chainlink 2, Chainlink 1. Summon that out, and then we'll activate Oviraptor's effect here to add a copy of Miscellaneous Saurus. Where is that? Miscellaneous Saurus right there. And then we'll pitch the Miscellaneous Saurus to the graveyard and then use Oviraptor's other effect to target this to destroy it. And we'll destroy the Petty Ranadon or the Baby Sarasaurus. We'll destroy the Baby Sarasaurus here. And we'll summon out the Giant Rex as a result. Like that. Now we have two Dinos in Grave. So one thing we can do here is link these two into a uh, land Ferencus or any other link or pentastag whatever you want it to be and then we'll use the miscellaneous saurus to banish one two three four summon out another miscellaneous saurus or we can't summon miscellaneous saurus i believe but we can summon out another copy of our ov raptor and then use giant rex's effect to summon itself out from being banished and then here we can summon our basically your solemn strike on legs or your solemn judgment on legs We'll just go with the strike because we can use this effect twice. And we can also set this cosmic cyclone here if we need to or clear back row with it. And keep in mind, uh, while this token stays on their field, uh, they cannot target any monsters except for non-effect monsters. And that's including their own monsters as well. So not the greatest hand. We did open up another baby in our hand, which is unfortunate. But nonetheless, still a pretty solid and stun-like uh, turn if you ask me. So... That's going to be it for this deck profile. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop me a like. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. And uh, like I said earlier, let me know if you want to see any more dino-related stuff in the future. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, when I kill Santa out, we'll see you guys in the next one.